Hello, my name is Mike McGlone. I'm a NASA Curriculum Specialist with NASA's Aerospace Education Services Project. And I'd like to share with you today some of the lessons and content from NASA's Summer of Innovation Lesson Plans. Today I'd like to share with you a brief overview of the Mission Simulators Lesson Plan. The Mission Simulators website, linked from the lesson plan or available at this web address, has three types of activities. The first type of activity is the interactive multimedia, and I'd like to briefly demonstrate Drive the Rover. The Drive the Rover interactive multimedia is based on the Mars Exploration Rover Spirit and Opportunity. Your first choice is to select your rover. Each rover covered a different region of Mars, so try them both. It may take a few moments to load, but then you can use your mouse to move the rover to different locations. Pop-up directions will help direct you to interesting locales. At certain locations, you can find a description of what is there, plus look at the same images that scientists used in their investigations of Mars. For example, in this location, Adirondack Rock, we can get general information about the rock, plus view photos, and even investigate the rock where we can view animations of the rotary abrasion tool or rat working on the rock, plus images of the abraded area, and even look at spectral data from this rock. Next, I'd like to look briefly at one of the simulations. In the shuttle docking simulation, you use your arrow keys to safely guide the shuttle to dock and lock with the International Space Station. This happens much more quickly in the simulation than in real time, but it gives students an idea of how exact the astronauts must be and how engineers can use simulations to design and test processes for space operations. Can you imagine doing the simulation blindfolded while a partner gives you verbal up, down, left, and right directions? Try it and see if you can achieve mission success. The final type of activity with the mission simulators is the virtual tour. In the panoramic tour, of the space station processing facility, you get to see Kennedy Space Center's facilities and even notes on the types of equipment that are processed for the space station, such as the rack insertion device and elements of the space station which are on orbit Nine today. I hope you will use the mission simulations with your students. These activities can give students in formal and informal settings the opportunity to work with simulators like astronauts and engineers. Plus, you can use them to try different challenges such as docking the station and shuttle blindfolded or create web quests as students investigate Mars. Good luck with these activities.